Hello everyone, News Reviews and More here, and today I'm going to be talking about Dino Rabbit, and you guys have all probably seen the new ban list, and if you guys all know, Dino Rabbit is still a decent deck, even though they put Rescue Rabbit to 2 and Tour Guide to 2, and I want to talk about how this deck can still be good, and how this deck is kind of more inconsistent. So to begin, we have Rescue Rabbit. You guys all know what it does. You banish it, you bring out two normal monsters with the same name, and since we're playing Dino Rabbit, we are going to bring out two copies of Saber's Horse or two copies of Cabazole. I don't have a Cabazole at the moment, so I apologize for that. And then you then overlay into Lagia or Doka. I do not have a Lagia or Doka either because I haven't been able to buy any of the new tints or trade for the promo cards or any actually pull any Lagia or Dokas. So, back to Rescue Rabbit. Um, the good part of this deck is you can go Lagia or Doka first turn. The bad part is you can get Effect Failure, um, you can draw your normal monsters, which is not good, and so on. So, um, yeah, so we're going to talk about the normal monsters and how you can draw them. Let's say I draw two capsules, right? And, um, our saber sources, my apologies. And I want to bring out a Lagier Dolko, but I can't because I didn't draw a rabbit. And my only option is to summon this guy. Now, I like to use this guy to bait out stuff as well. Because people are like, oh, maybe he has another saber source in hand. Um, I'll bottomless this guy. And you're like, okay, cool. Because then I can go rabbit next turn if I top deck it and go into two more saber sources. But the main point of this guy, uh, when you draw him, is I like to summon him and set a couple of defense cards. For example, we can set bottomless, or we could set deprison, or warning. Um, these cards can protect your saber source, then allowing you to summon another one the next turn and overlay into your Logi or Dolka. That's why these cards are very key components in this deck. Um, also, bottomless is good against the mirror match, deprison is a good, good against um, so other decks that use graveyard, and solemn warning is just good all around. So we're gonna put these back over here, and that's about it for the normal monsters. Um, also, Lance is very strong in this deck as well. So if you have Saber Swords, you can um, summon them and protect them with Lance and other cards as well. So next we're gonna talk about Tour Guide. Tour Guide's only at two. Sadly enough, I'm gonna focus in a little bit here. Sorry for that. And Tour Guide's at two, and you usually run three Tour Guide in the Sangan, but now we can only run two Tour Guide in the Sangan. Now, if you think about it, you summon Tour Guide, you bring out Sangan, then you have a dead Tour Guide in your deck unless you happen to get Avarice. And, yeah, so this leaves an open spot for a level 3 Fiend. There are many choices to choose from. You got Dark Mimic, you have all these different choices, but the best one I've seen so far is Night Assailant. I haven't tested them out yet because I usually just run two Tour Guide and Sangan. But I'm probably going to test him out as soon as possible. Um, you guys don't know what he does. He's pretty much a snowman eater. But he has some other effect that's really irrelevant. So, yeah. Um, so if you happen to top deck this guy, just like if you were to top deck Sangan, this is still a really good card to set. Because when they attack in it with their Dolko, I mean with their Lagia, you destroy their Lagia as well. You destroy other monsters such as Thunder King and other big monsters as well. Pretty much destroys everything. Okay. So, we have... That tour guide. So tour guide and Sangan, I mean tour guide and rescue of it went to two. Now we're going to talk about Jirak Guaiba. Guaiba is a card that we usually run in Dino Rabbit decks. Um, the reason being is because we have Lance and it's a it's a dinosaur type, and when it destroys a monster by battle, you get to special summon another one from your deck, and then therefore go into Lagia or Dolka. Um, with I don't think Jirak Guaiba is the best choice this format. The reason being is because heroes are very popular as well as Dark Worlds. With um, heroes running 1900 attack aliases, 1800 attack Stratos, Miracle Fusion, Super Poly, and all those crazy things. Guaiba, you guys might be thinking, oh, okay, you have Lance to get over those monsters, but as soon as they bring out a Shining, Guaiba can't really get over that, and it's kind of dead. As well as Dark World, they can bring out Grafa and get over your Guaiba as well, um, even with the field spell. So that would bring their Dark World monster down to 2200 attack. We're not 2200 attack, 1900 attack if you use Lance on it, and it's just not that good. So, um, yeah, Gwai instead of running Gwaiba, I decided we can run different cards. For example, we can run Snowman Eater or Spear Reaper. I do not have a Spear Reaper at the moment. The reason being is because this card can stall the decks such as Hero decks or Dark World decks. Um, not necessarily Dark World decks for this guy, but Spear Reaper for Dark World decks. Um, 
This guy, they attack him with their alias, you pop their alias. They attack him with Thunder King, you pop their Thunder King. It's a really good card overall. Spear Reaper for the other example, which I don't have at the moment. But we're going to pretend this is a Spear Reaper. Um, stalls decks like the Mirror Match, Heroes, and other decks like Six Samurai. Um, and then we also have Thunder King. I, right now, am maining three copies of Thunder King. Thunder King is a very good card of this format. Um, the reason being is because heroes are swarming everywhere, as well as um, plant decks and uh, Teladad thingies, Tefanut Dad, I don't know how you pronounce it. But this guy is just putting in work this format. I definitely highly suggest to pick some up. But this guy is amazing. If you guys don't know what it does, you cannot add cards from deck to hand, and it negates a special summon. So, um, it's good against the mirror, it's just a good overall card. I am running three copies of this right now, and instead of Guaybas. So, let's move on to... So that's pretty much like the Guaybas discussion. Um, don't run Guaybas this format unless you like have some... Unless you're running Jirax, you know? I don't really think Guaybas and Dino Rabbit is that good. So those are the replacements I suggest. Next, we're going to talk about the weaknesses of the deck. Um, we have weaknesses, such as Effect Failure, Bottomless Trap Hole, um, there's two bottomless, <laughs> and Solemn Warning. Um, Effect Veiler can definitely hit our rabbit. Um, the reason being is because once the, the priority gone, um, Effect Veiler stops rabbit, and the opponent, the person playing rabbit can either decide to banish it or leave it on the field, and then, as well as protecting it with, um, your back row. So if they Veiler your rabbit, and you have some back row, you can possibly stop their summon and banish it the next turn, which is okay. Um, Valor is a big problem for this deck, and the only way to really stop it is to run macro, debunk, and whatnot. Um, yeah. So, bottomless trap hole. The reason being bad is because when you bring out two rabbit, when you bring out rabbit and you special summon these guys, you can you, you bottomless summon they both get removed. A way to stop this from getting bottomless is running Starlight Road. Starlight Road is definitely going to be see a lot more play this format um, with double mirror force around bottomless trenchals. All that stuff, sorry. Um, Starlight Road is going to be seeing a lot more play. Uh, it can bring out your Stardust, and it can stop Bottomless and get you a Laggy at the same time. Starlight Road is definitely a good card. I highly suggest to be running at this format if you are playing Dino Rabbit. Um, now, Solemn Warning. You can't really do anything about it. Let me move these dinosaurs here. You can't really do anything about Solemn Warning, except for have like Judgment, and stuff gets Warning, it happens, and that's the story. So... Now, I already talked about Starlight Road. Um, another way to stop warning, actually, is with MST. You can MST it during their draw phase or end phase, standby phase, your draw phase, standby phase, end phase, whatnot. Um, MST, run three of them if you're going to run Dino Rabbit, because you need to stop all the back row as possible, even though you might be playing against some agent decks who don't run any back row at all, if this card could be dead. But who knows, they could run Valhalla, and yeah. So we're going to put that away over there. And next, I would like to talk about cards that really hurt the deck and you can't really do anything about it and that's just one card and that's super polymerization um this card is just crazy with heroes having every hero available every type available this card is just insane they can super pull your your dalka lagia everything um that's the only problem i see with this deck it's its biggest weakness is super poly and maybe the mirror um another problem with this deck is drawing your normal monsters and whatnot. And I already told you guys how to pretty much prevent that from happening, or not preventing it from happening, but to keep your normal monsters alive. And that's why we run many trap cards. Another card that hurts this deck is Thunder King, but that's okay because we can summon our normal monster, attack into Thunder King, and then proceed to crash. And then, if you want, you can lance it too. So this deck is very viable, this format, if you guys haven't already noticed. Um, you got Rabbit, you got Tour Guide, even though it's at 2, this deck has, still has a lot of potential. It's pretty consistent, except for that you're going to draw your normal monsters, you have one less and one less. And other than that, I find this deck going to be really good. You can run Gores, you can run BLS. I run BLS in the version I'm playing, I'm testing them out, because I run 3 Thunder King, 2 Valor. You can run 3 Valor if you like. Um, you do, and if you run 9 Assailant, you have more Dark, tar dark Targets, along with Sangan. And then you can go levy or and stuff and bring back your Sangan, bring back your Night Assailant for whatever reason you want to, bring back your Rabbit, and so much more. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was just a discussion about how I think Rabbit's going to be pretty decent this format. Um, at the beginning of the format, I don't see it being too popular, but later in the format, I definitely think it's going to be seeing some play. So thank you guys for watching this video. 